Welcome to the HVM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. I'm Clark Anderson, an HVM Applications Engineer, and in this video I'm going to provide an overview of QuantumX Ethernet connection. The QuantumX Ethernet connection methods we'll cover are Ethernet connection of QuantumX module to PC, multiple QuantumX modules with Ethernet and FireWire, and multiple QuantumX modules with Ethernet and PTP. The QuantumX Operating Manual, Chapter 7, covers the different topologies for connecting QuantumX modules. The first topology we will cover is a single QuantumX module directly connected to a PC via Ethernet. The image here shows this connection. A standard Ethernet cable connecting the PC to a QuantumX module. If you happen to have a very old PC, a patch cable will be required if the Ethernet interface does not have autocrossing function. The QuantumX module will also need a power supply connection. If the QuantumX module you wish to connect to has a green light next to it, you can just select that module and click Connect. If the QuantumX module you want to connect to has a red light next to it, Select the module and click the Change Module Address tab. Then either enter an IP address manually or select to use DHCP and then click Apply Settings. After the settings have been applied, the QuantumX module should now have a green light next to it. Select the module and click Connect. If you use static IP addresses for your QuantumX modules, you can connect directly without using the HBM Device Manager by selecting Ethernet for their search boards. Then enter the IP address or IP address range for your QuantumX modules. The most common method of connecting multiple QuantumX modules via Ethernet is to use the FireWire connection for synchronization and power distribution. Each module require an Ethernet connection to a switch and then Ethernet from the switch to your PC. The Ethernet cable is only providing data though, so synchronization is provided by having a FireWire cable connection between every QuantumX module. The FireWire connection can also provide power for every three modules, with one of those modules having a power supply connection. When you use the QuantumX device scan in Catman Easy or MX Assistant, the QuantumX modules in your network will be displayed. You then check the box for the modules you want to connect. Here two modules have been selected. Once connected, you can check the time synchronization. These two modules are connected via FireWire. Here it shows the MX1601 is FireWire Master and the MX1615 is the FireWire Slave. Another method for time synchronization is to use PTP or Precision Time Protocol. When using PTP you only need to connect it in Ethernet cable and power to each module. The Ethernet cable sh should then go back to a PTP switch, then from the switch to your PC. Connect to the modules as before by selecting the modules you want to connect. To check the PTP time synchronization, click the drop down menu on the special button and select configure external time synchronization. Here you can see that the MX1615 is the PTP master and the MX1601 is the PTP slave. The sync status is OK, so a test can be started with synchronized data. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or visit our website for the latest product solutions and downloads at www.hbm.com.